Ida. All right. Coach, you want to start us off in the opening statement? Well, our guys are uh, getting ready to get back to hopefully a good week of practice. Uh, we understand that uh, it's the last home game for a lot of guys. Uh, they put in a lot of hard work and, and efforts, and uh, we need to try to send them out on a good note. And uh, we also understand how football works, so we have to have a great week of practice. We've got to continue to tweak things here and there to uh, make improvements to help our team. We've got to work as hard as we've ever worked. We've got to keep the same hunger that we had this past week and the same drive to want to uh, – you know, try to achieve something, and then we got to go out, you know, and play a, a football team that we've had a hard time uh, with since I've been here. Uh, they're disciplined. They play really good defense. You know, they're physical up front on both sides of the ball. They try to run the ball, and they force you to beat yourself. So, um, you know, we've got to make sure that we, uh, you know, come ready to play and understand what it takes to win a football game in this conference. Okay, Jeff, you understand all the Purdue scenarios in the West. I know, I know you don't like looking ahead, but I got to ask. Well, well, once again, uh, you know, at this point in the season, a lot of things can happen. Uh, we understand that. And we have to control ourselves. So, uh, you know, a home game against Northwestern uh, is the challenge ahead. That's the only thing that uh, we can focus on um, or we're not going to win the football game. What's it like to have the program in this position this late in the year? Well, that's a good thing. I mean, I think that uh, our guys have worked hard uh, to put ourselves in a position uh, uh, to, to achieve, uh, hopefully, a good season if we continue uh, you know, to play well. But uh, just like every week, there's uh, a lot of football left to be played. and. Uh, you know, we have to find ways to continue to improve, and um, you know we've in most of our wins against uh, FBS opponents, it's been by a touchdown or less, and uh, and uh, we've got beaten handily a couple times in, in the past month. So I think it's important to just try to you know keep working hard to make improvements, uh, tweak the team, uh, make some adjustments, and, and and try to find a, a way to get better, and that's that's critical at this time of the year. Devin mockby has got over 700 yards rushing, two games and a bowl left. What would it mean, Jeff, to get him 1,000 yards? Well, we, we do want to make sure that we continue to, to maintain uh, balance. When I say that, uh, the ability to do both, pass the ball in and, and run the football. And I think that uh, Devin definitely has some elusive skills to him. He's done a really good job. Uh, our other running backs have worked hard and are ready to go. But, uh, you know, it's important that we find a way to run the football and get yards on the ground and, and, and get big plays in the running game. And um, whether it's Devin, uh, uh, Dylan, or any of our running backs, uh, or even our quarterbacks, but we, we got to find a way to do that. I think the last five games you've only been able to play your six offensive linemen. You just talk about how that unit's has performed, and I guess the fact that they stayed healthy too. Well, it was great to see uh, them do a – a really good job this past week against a good defense um, and not give up any sacks. Um, and obviously, that's on everybody. He got the ball out quickly at times, but our offensive line uh, has worked hard all year long. And they, they don't get a whole lot of credit, and uh, but they work extremely hard. A lot of guys are, st are banged up right now, just like every team. They continue to play through uh, you know things that they have, and uh, we've got to hope that we can continue with those six the rest of the way. It's going to be important that uh, we have all six. and. That's uh, thin enough as it is. Uh, we, we, we've got to make sure we, we take care of them during the week while we get enough good practice in, and, and hopefully they can stay healthy. Your Northwestern's lost nine in a row. Have you ever been part of a program that struggled like this, and, and what makes a team like this dangerous? You know what, uh, Coach Fitzgerald done a great job. He has achieved a lot of success uh, by doing it the right way, by just building a program of discipline and toughness and hard work. And, you know, they played some good football at times. Uh, you know, they played Penn State very close. They played uh, Maryland very close. They played Ohio State very close. They have the capability to win football games. I think they understand that. And that uh, just like in every on every football team, it takes all three segments. So the defense has to play well, the offense has to play well, special teams do. And if you don't have all three, you're not going to win in this conference. And I just think that uh, you know 
they probably feel like they're uh, very close to, to getting over the hump. And uh, just as we know that uh, we're very close to falling off the edge if we don't do a lot of things correctly. That's just how the game's going to work. And um, I don't think it'll change. But, uh, you know, they're a very well-coached football team, and uh, uh, we will have our hands full on Saturday. Staying with the Northwestern theme, Evan Hall, just how much of a centerpiece is he for that offense, and how much does he need to be a focus for your defense this week? Well, he's got to be the main focus. He's a really good running back. Uh, he's physical. He's tough. He's played a lot of football, and um, you know we have to be able to, to stop him, and uh, that needs to be uh, without question the central focus. And um, I'm sure they're going to you know, give it to him in a lot of different ways, and uh, we're going to have to make sure that uh, you know he, we don't allow him to beat us. I'll, put, I'll butcher the guy's name, but the offensive line that they have, Peter, uh, how much do they just run behind him, or how much is he a, a, a maybe a different centerpiece for what they want to do offensively? Well, he's really good. Uh, he's going to be a high first round pick. And um, I remember when we tried to recruit him uh, coming out, he was very talented then. I just think he's continued to work. He's got athleticism, he's got strength, he's got really good feet. Uh, you know, you're not going to win a lot of one-on-one -on -one matches with him. You're going to have to, you know, uh, make your hay somewhere else. So, uh, you know, he's been solid all year long, and, and without question, when you have that runner and that blocker, uh, I'm sure they'll run behind him a lot. Uh, the, your, your defensive line would appear starting to get payoffs with some sacks and more pressures back there. Has that just been a, a constant thing all year, where you've had to kind of wait for that to happen with the depth that you've had on the on the line? Well, I actually think the, they played all, hard all year long. I um, thought we did a better job in, in the coverage aspect this past game that helped us get those sacks. So I do think it's a combination of, of a lot of things. Like everything, every little detail matters. I thought we uh, tweaked the plan and had a better plan coming in uh, that our guys took advantage of. And uh, without question, you know, playing a lot of defensive linemen and keeping them somewhat fresh, even though you want your best guys in there as much as you can, uh, has helped us uh, without question. And that's kind of been a, a strength to this point. And uh, we've just got to continue to guard guys better and longer. And we need to get our linebackers uh, not only supporting the run, but they got to help on play action, which has not happened um, you know, until recently. Uh, and everything matters in order to get sacks. So I just think uh, uh, we just got to continue to, to learn and push forward with that. How much has Lawrence and Branson been an anchor in the middle there? Well, they've been great leaders. Uh, they work really hard. They play a lot of football for us. Um, we've been able to keep them a little bit fresher. I thought Branson really got injured early on when he came back and played, so I give him a lot of credit. We had a handful that had some stuff go on that they were able to play, play through. Uh, but Branson and Lawrence want to win. They've been here. Uh, they were battle-tested, um, and they do a really good job for our football team. Uh, with uh, Kieran, what his what's his status as you start start the week? He's probably unlikely. What would he be injured on Saturday? Uh, I'd rather than that say, but he's probably lower lower extremity. Uh, and Branson, do you think he'll be good to go this week? Well, we'll that'll be uh, we'll see later in the week if he can go. Did did your secondary take a a step forward from some previous games this past week? I think so. I think they did a really uh, good job overall, and uh, like I said, I think we, we helped them a little bit, but uh, they played sounder uh, with more focus to detail. I thought they played hard. I thought they tried to tackle and get in on plays. I thought they tried to defend the pass very well, and obviously there's, there's still more things to correct, but um, it was... Uh, you know, improvement, and we got to continue to make that. Like I said, it's not uh, all on them. I think we have to help put the best package together so that they can go out there and execute, and uh, all the, the small things matter to get that done. How many seniors are going to go through senior day, and will some of those seniors potentially come back? As mm -hmm. I think you know, COVID is still, COVID years still are possible, right? Right. Yeah, I don't have the exact number yet because. Uh, I just don't have it, uh, and I, I haven't asked, but uh, I'll get that. Yeah, we'll have some that uh, we'll choose to go through senior day that might be might be coming back, and uh, we, we try not to address that to after the season. We don't want to focus uh, on that at this point. Uh, I think there'll be plenty of time to get that done. We want them to just concentrate, go out there and play football and try to win football games, and 
make that decision down the road. And uh, you know, whatever that may be, we'll we'll help them and, and guide them from there. But uh, we'll, we'll have definitely a, probably a few that go through that have a chance to come back. <clears throat> yeah, Jeff, uh, you talked about this a little bit after out of the game against Illinois, but just Aiden's job spreading the ball around after going back and watching some film on, on that. What kind of do you think worked well this week in terms of Aiden being able to find other targets, paying at a solid performance as well as TJ? Um, and, and what can you kind of build on that moving forward in these last two weeks of the regular season? Well, it's important that we spread the ball around. It's important that uh, – other playmakers step up and emerge and make plays so that the quarterback feels comfortable going to them. Uh, I do think we were better at this at, at this past game. That, that uh, definitely helped us. So, you know, Charlie uh, has done a great job for us, and he's been banged up, and they had their best corner on him most of the time throughout the game. He's a really good player. Payne stepped in and made plays even when he wasn't wide open. We were able to put it on him. He was able to catch the ball and carry guys as far as he could. TJ stepped up and, and, and did a really nice job. There were a couple others that played better as well. So I think uh, – you know that we've seen progress in practice, but it still has to happen in the game. And uh, like you said, our, our quarterback still needs to um, you know gain confidence uh, to be able to, to uh, utilize those guys. But in order to win, we're definitely going to need all um, all those guys to play well for us. And then you talked about the offensive line just not giving up any sacks. Part of that also comes from uh, you know guys like Devin and Dylan in the backfield. Uh, Kind of sharing up some of that pass protection. Um, or do you feel like the the running backs have taken a step, maybe, in uh, helping out in some of those pass protections? And uh, specifically, Devin, uh, someone that uh, you've mentioned has kind of had to work on that a little bit. How, how has he kind of progressed in terms of uh, picking up some of those things? Well, Devin uh, doesn't have a lot of weight behind him. It's one of his better passing blocking days. Uh, he puts his body in there and throws it in there. Um, you know, Dylan, uh, when he came in, did a nice job, and Kobe Lewis did a nice job. So all three guys have worked really hard, and uh, they understand the role, and they got to be ready when their time calls. And we're going to need all three uh, in order to get it done. Uh, obviously, Kobe is, is bigger and stronger, and uh, has got some physicality to him, and Dylan has a little bit of both. And then Devin um, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of weight in his, his rear end, but he, he definitely plays hard. So, yes, all those things matter, and um, they've worked hard. Coach Parker's worked hard with them, and I think that uh, – you know, we're going to need those guys to play well, take care of the football. To this point, we've done a good job of uh, take care of the ball in the backfield. And you know, turnovers will be critical in this game. So if we uh, lose that battle, then we'll have a hard time coming out with the W. Any other questions? Jeff, Clyde Washington left the game too in the first half. Sounds like Kieran's unlikely. Just to tell us about Clyde first, and then just the, the depth in that linebacker spot. Is Jacob a starting middle linebacker, but it seems like it get pretty thin there. Yeah, Clyde will probably be out for a while. So, yes, we are going to be thinner than we'd like to be. And, uh, you know, we've got to get some backups ready to go uh, just in case because, uh, you know, that is a concern. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, guys.